Oh, you, you dafty. Aye, you. Well, is there anyone else silly enough to try keepy uppies with two footballs? All you need is one football. A football app that brings together the latest news and in-match updates to football fans all over the world. One football covers over 100 international football leagues and competitions live and in comparable detail. Pick a team, any team. You'll receive live official updates from the team you follow around the clock. Make sure you download one football to ensure you get a great result. Hey guys, Gogsy here and welcome to a brand new video. Today we're going to talk Motherwell because we've not done a video about Motherwell in a wee while uh, and we're just going to uh, review the kits, the fixtures that have been announced today and just have a general chit chat because to be honest, I've not really been keeping up with things because I've been working on my own stuff. So, it's going to be refreshing. Let's go with the first article of today's show. That sounded way too formal. So first up, we're going to go with the kits, the successors of this shirt here that I'm wearing. Uh, I didn't manage to pick up the away shirt, but I think it will anyway from last season because it was just so nice. The home kit, I really like. It's got a claret band across the the front, which is basically like this one, which I love. I love a wee cheeky claret band across the front there, uh, and it's also got like claret stripes throughout the shirt, and claret shorts, and stripy socks as well. So I might just get the full kit to be honest. It'll work wonders when I'm doing south. The wee kit I love as well, it's been a while since we've actually had like a white away strip, uh, and it's got the the amber and claret uh, stripes which was featured on the 2012-2013 I think uh, season a week or third strip when we played in Europe for the Champions League but overall I love the kits I'm not going to rate them or anything because I've got nothing to compare them with because I'm not really interested in any other teams at the moment now before I disclose the whole fixture list until the split uh, I want to say this is going to be a really weird season for me because uh, in September I'm moving to Sunderland because I'm studying a degree in media so I'm not going to get to many mother matches this season uh, which is a shame but it's a small price to pay if it means that I get a job in the media because I'm really wanting to do something football orientated uh, for the rest of my life so in order to get that I need to I need to do the degree. So of course we've got the four friendlies, uh, which is Crusaders, Linfield, Gretna and Darlington, which I'm going to miss all of them because I'm going to Bulgaria for two weeks. Uh, so there's that completely out the window, but I'm glad because, I mean, I don't want to go to Crusaders or Darlington anyway because I went last season. Like, we, we played them last season and for me there's no point in travelling so far to a ground you've already been to. Uh, if it's just for a friendly. So the chances are I probably would have missed Crusaders and Darlington anyway but Windsor Park is a ground I've wanted to tick off for a while because it's an international stadium. Then the four Betfred Cup fixtures we have got Saturday 13th of July the day after I get back from Sunny Beach in Bulgaria uh, Mother will play Queen of the South away we're going to Dumfries it'll mean that I'm at 40 out of 42 of the Scottish professional or top four leagues uh, grounds anyway so 40 out of 42 Friday the 19th we've got Morton at home it's great because it means I can go to resonate on the Saturday and Sunday fantastic it's really well worked out there the Tuesday afterwards we've got the Barton away then the final game we have got an Athletic at home and hopefully we will be through to the next round League business resumes on the 3rd of August we've got Livingston away I think it could be a better away day to start off the season but also it's, it's a bit closer to me so I'm not that bothered because I'm, I'm not really wanting to spend that much money uh, in the build up to me moving away Saturday the 10th we've got Celtic at home uh, 
to be honest, it's a very tasty fixture. I can't remember the last time we played Celtic at home this early in a season, but yeah, bring it on. I'm really looking forward to it because we always give Celtic and Rangers a good game at home, apart from the last time we played Rangers. Then it's the second round of the Betfred Cup if we get through. Then Saturday 24th, Aki's away, bring it on. Saturday 31st, Hibs at home. Start of September, Scotland have two home games against Russia and Belgium. Uh, I'll be going to both of those. And then uh, on the 14th, Muller will have Hearts away. And that's where my new chapter begins. Because I, I honestly don't know yet if I will go to Hearts away because it's my moving day. And from this game onwards, until probably Saturday the 21st of de December, I have no idea which games I'll go to, but we'll just rattle through them anyway, uh, because it's just so expensive to get from Sunderland to Motherwell and back, or or when you're thinking about the away games that are further afield, such as like Ross County, Aberdeen. Saturday 21st of September, we've got Ross County at home, Saturday 28th, St Johnson away, October, we've got St Martin at home, Saturday the 5th, uh, then it's an international break. Uh, then Saturday 19th we've got Aberdeen at home Rangers away on Saturday the 26th now I might, I might go to Ibrox because you know you guys love an Ibrox vlog I mean it's, not, it's been a while since we've won there so I might as well chance my luck October the 30th uh, we've got Kilmarnock at home November the 2nd, Livingston at home, Celtic away in the 9th. 23rd, Hibs away, and St Johnson at home on the 30th. Then December, we've got, oh, only six fixtures. Usually we've got nine. So they've evened that out. Wednesday the 4th, St Man away, Hearts at home on the 7th. Rangers at home on the 14th. Kilmarnock away on the 21st. Then Boxing Day, Thursday the 26th, we've got Ross County away. Oh, that is such a cruel fixture to have then. And uh, Hamilton at home on Sunday the 29th. Uh, Boxing Day, tra public transport's hellish. But I will find a way to get to that game because whenever I'm in Scotland, I will go to the Motherwell games. I will tell you that now. In January, we've got the Scottish Cup weekend uh, preceding Aberdeen away on the 22nd of January, which I'll, there is absolutely no hope in hell I'm getting to Pataudry because I'll be back at uni by then followed by Saturday 25th Hibs at home February we've got Livingston away on Saturday the 1st Celtic at home Wednesday the 5th then it'll be Scottish Cup weekend then Wednesday 12th St Johnson away Saturday 15th St Man at home and Aki's away on the 22nd in March we've got Ross County at home on Wednesday the 4th really why are Motherwell playing Ross County on Wednesdays, that's just, it's just shit for uh, fans in general. Uh, then Hearts away on Saturday the 7th, Aberdeen at home Saturday 14th, Kilmarnock at home Saturday 21st and we finish with Rangers away on Saturday the 4th of April. Yeah, that's quite an early finish but uh, yeah I'm really looking forward to this season. Uh, of course Everyone will be wondering why I'm, or how I'm going to replace Motherwell content. Well basically I've got plans this season to do a bit of ground hopping down south uh, while I've got the chance to, I might as well, because uh, I do want to see the world, I do want to see different things. I might try a few different uh, trips abroad, seeing if I have the money. I cannot accommodate you all for Motherwell content this season, so I'm going to pass that opportunity to someone else who will probably get the chance to go to every game this season. Uh, unfortunately, I can't. Oh, I got a text! There's your Love Island reference of the day. Oh my god, that is an awful picture. It would seem that David Turnbull has just signed for Celtic and there's no more U-turns, no more O-turns. Uh, it's, it looks like a done deal and uh, David Turnbull has gone to Celtic. Or to follow. Uh, I think that's that for this video. I'll leave you all on strings but uh, I can't be bothered talking about David Turnbull right now. Uh, 
I'll, I'll do a complete recap on the whole transfer saga uh, if we reach 50 likes on this video. And yeah guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a like down below if you want more of this snazzy content. Subscribe if you're new. I'm Gogsy at the 9, better wish you were. I'll see you later guys. Take care.